today being the 30th of May, the, well, the month of May is gradually coming to an end. One more day, and we are moving on to June. Well, a lot has happened in this month of May. Plus the fact that inaugurations for both the president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and governors across Nigeria took place yesterday is something that has really caused a lot of reaction because we know that right after the inauguration of the president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, some things happened and all of that we'll be looking at right here on the headlines as we go through them today. Don't forget you're part of this. Drop your comments and your reactions on the comment section. Don't just watch. Also subscribe, like and share this on all our social media platforms. We're on Facebook, Instagram and of course on Twitter as Tab TV underscore NG. On Facebook is Tab TV and on Instagram is Tab TV underscore NG. So do well to stay connected to us on all of those platforms. All right, with me here on the program to do justice to these headlines is the beautiful Jennifer One More. You're welcome. Thank you very yes. much. It's such a delight to have you here on the program. Yes. All right, let's see what the headlines uh, within the last 24 hours look like. I'm sure they're really interesting. But we'll begin today with this day newspaper for today, the 30th of May. And on this day newspaper here, we have as headline, today, faith and destiny join together to place the touch of human progress in our very hands. All right, that's part of the speech that was delivered yesterday by the president, the brand new president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. All right, just right under that, we see this headline, Dar Communications founder, Raymond Dopesi is dead. So sad. That's a very, very, very sad, sad news. Um, you know, considering who Raymond is yes. in our society here in Nigeria, a great man of impact. But we're going to come to that story much later while we continue with the headlines here. All right, we'll move on to other headlines. Filling stations shut down. Queues return after president subsidy is gone. Remark. You find that on page five of this day newspaper. The main headline here says, Tinubu, subsidy is gone, can no longer justify ever increasing cost. Funds to be rechanneled into better investments in public infrastructure, education, healthcare, jobs. To review Naira redesign policy, challenges Apex Bank on uniform exchange rate, vows to right Nigeria, says he'll be president for all. Security will be accorded priority New president declares, president of Liberia, South Africa, Ethiopia, Tanzania, Rwanda, Nigeria, Chad, attend inauguration. U.S., China represented, U.K., U.S., Saudi Arabia, others hold bilateral meetings with Tinubu. Bajabiamila, Nigeria will witness renewed hope with ex-Lagos governor. Harua kicks against unilateral petrol subsidy removal. Tinubu's speech didn't inspire hope, says LP. All right, that's all the headline we'll be taking here on this day newspaper. All right, Jennifer is already reacting, but then let me ask you, what would you make of, uh, make of all the, you know, the, the speech that the president gave yesterday? And one striking uh, remark from that entire speech was the fact that he said, subsidy is gone. And by that statement, a lot is already happening on our streets. Um, fuel prices have gone over the rooftop. The long queues have returned and people are not finding this very funny. funny Why well. do you react to all of that? Uh, anyways, Mr. Avule, I would like to say, I know you will be expecting me to start from the negative part, <laughs> but I must um, congratulate um, the president, yeah. uh, Mr. Bolamed. And congratulations, congratulations to Nigeria. Congratulations to Nigeria. <laughs> also for um, accepting and um, receiving your president. Brand new um, president. Brand new president. <laughs> um, you know, from governor to senator and all that to becoming a president. That's yeah. to tell you how um, jagabanius uh, <laughs> like our that. president is. Congratulations yeah. to you once again, Mr. Yeah. Tinibu. And uh, on another hand, I'm also congratulating Mr. Tinibu because um, uh, it takes a mighty man in this country to remove subsidy. That'd be yes. true. It's about 12 years now. Good luck, Jonathan. Tried um, within his four years of um, reign in the mm. government. He couldn't do that. But then, and, but um, then he couldn't do it because he was highly resisted by the likes of Tinubu 
Yeah, whatever and the reasons could be, <laughs> sorry for cutting you short. Yeah, whatever the reasons could be, uh, he didn't I, lift the I just wanted today. to bring that to everybody's yes, uh, remembrance. Uh, and because, the people in the likes of Tinivo, uh, let us and hold And the, and the Pastor Bakari and all the uh, Occupy Nigeria crew. Occupy that, Nigeria uh, you know, They stayed yes. on the street for over a week telling Good Luck Jonathan not to do, not this. To do this. And then here we are, subsidy has been removed. And it looks as though... A lot of Nigerians have been caught off guard. I'm coming to that. <laughs> I'm coming to that. If it's people, they'll say, calm down, be coming down. <laughs> yes, right. I'm still on it. I'm still saying a second congratulations to Mr. Tini because this is absolutely 12 good years. Mm. No one has been able, none of the um, persons in government was able, I mean, uh, the, or succeeded, uh, uh, yeah. succeeded uh, in the subsidy removal, even when um, President Mohamed Buhari kept bringing it up and up, and so many persons were like people in the um, NNPC, uh, Pengan, different um, Labour Congress was like, don't do this to us now, we mm. don't need it. And at a time, we began talking about subsidy removal palliative. That was mm -hmm. the eight hundred million dollars um, yeah. that was borrowed. And before you know it, the still um, Buari had to say, "Okay, we are suspending it." Um, the next government, the next administration is going to actually talk about it. Mm -hmm. And you know, after the congratulation I'm giving to my president, um, <laughs> President Tinibu, I now begin to ask um, this particular question: Why now? Mm. Why all of a sudden? We actually expected that when the president comes into office, um, discussions will take place. At least, what the people expect is that, like people expect the opposite actually, yeah. because um, to some, with the way the um February twenty fifth um, presidential election mm. went, so many people are not, so many Nigerians are not happy. Yeah. Um, at the emergence of um. Um, but, I mean, yeah, I mean, Tinibu, but right now, we have to take him. He, he is our number one man. He's the president. But beginning with this, starting with this, is that a nice start? Mm. It's not a nice start. At least we should have enjoyed some freedom, some level mm. of freedom be before this whole thing kicks off. Mm. We should have enjoyed a, a level of freedom at least. You don't just come at that. means the whole thing has been taken care of. I believe that this whole thing, this mm. whole subsidy removal has already been taken care of mm. before um, President Tinibu came into office. Mm. That's what it looks like. It looks and right now, Nigerians are suffering. Let me ask you, how much are they selling a liter in your area? I got 450 and, uh, naira uh, Okay, I've carried and lots of um, samples today. I'm having 450, yeah. um, 600. Yeah, and some, actually, uh, yeah. and some petrol stations right now even shut their um their gates that are holding the field. They don't want to give it out because they wanted to go uh, higher. Yes, before they because what we learned before is that when the subsidy is removed um from from the field, we are actually going to be buying petrol at the rate of seven hundred and fifty naira, and I think it will get to that. Just mm. today, some people have bought at the price of um. 600. Yeah. So please, uh, Mr. President Bola Tinibu, this is not really going well in your life. And you know that there's some um, um, fear actually surrounds, um, controls many our of the uh, our it's, economy. It's, it's like yes. in the center of our economy. Yes, it's in the center of our we, economy. We have that kind of fuel driven economy where everything connects to it. Yes. Because we have bad power sector. Yes. So people use generators. Businesses of all kinds use generators. Transportation in Nigeria is fuel based. And so, as we're speaking like this, this removal of subsidies is going to affect every sector. It has already started. Uh, the cost of transportation within Port Harcourt City has gone over the rooftop. Triple. Yes. It's and so, people, triple. in fact, today, a lot of people were standing on the road. And a lot of people were trekking. trekking. And in the course of this trek, just like one of the days um, during the cash crunch, a particular man fainted at the bus stop. That could be that that man had trekked and trekked and trekked. Mm. So, my president, why now? And on the other hand, the clause that follows the subsidy remo removal is so that um, this particular money that is being paid every year or every now and then mm. will be channeled to other areas um, in the society. Mm. I, I wouldn't know what those areas could be, mm. but we pray that um, the removal of the subsidy brings us um, better days yeah. rather than um, lots of suffering because um, Nigerians are so much in penury that we don't need more of um, national of our peace and we are suffering for Christ's sake. Yeah. You, you need to see how people are crying out loud. Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to add by saying that we understand that um, uh, business owners are involved in, you know, uh, in buying petroleum products from the government and from uh, NMPC and all of that. Yes. And that's why we are experiencing this 
a serious price hike. So business owners are trying to cover up for the um, you know uh, expected loss yes. if you have bought price uh, bought at a certain price this time. If you're going back to 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 restock, you might be buying at a very higher rate yes. based on the fact that subsidy has been taken off. So yes. that's why. From the explanation we've got from some of the marketers, that's why they have, you know, hiked these prices. But even at that, they, that's why I, I'm not really comfortable with the way this was announced. If truly that remark by the president meant that the subsidy has been removed, because we, we have not heard any statement Yes, from because them. Um, something kept telling me that um, this was just a remark from the president. Okay, fine. But if you know was... how Nigerians like... Um, picking to escalate on it. Yes, escalate. But eventually, um, whether we like it or not, whether it was a remark or not, yes. what it means to me is that Prepare. eventually, Prepare. within the next few months, it will be taken off. So people have already started uh, making plans on yes, their own. Yes, it's just like an taking, on your mask, get yeah. set. They are so already, they are already taking on away. Yeah, marketers are already trying to protect their interests. To so say, okay, so once they do an official announcement, this is, I already have enough money to restock. But while we are waiting for them, let me increase price now to begin to gather for the next purchase. So that purchase. I, can be, I can buy um, when the and time comes. And then me, I'm saying that if truly this is not the actual announcement of the removal of, of subsidy, subsidy, please, government should come back and put out a statement and bring things to normalcy while they engage with marketers on how they will stand in for people that will not be able to buy again at the higher price. Because but right NNPC now, have supported this move. So no, NNPC has supported this the statement. move. But NNPC is not the major NNPC supplier of L. control here. So why is it that they have not been able to engage with marketers enough? Because knowing that these people are in business and this is going to happen, they don't want to run at a loss. They are going to find a way to cushion the effect of whatever money they are going to be spending once the subsidy has been removed. Why don't you engage with these marketers yes. to a level where you say, okay, for those of you that will sell, you have so much in stock or, uh, that you bought in the last uh, few months, so you have enough petrol to sell at this low price. If you're coming back to buy again, we will cover up for the loss. We will come in as a government for this one-off, you know, uh, 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 um, kind of like uh, uh, relief yeah. for people yes. that are in that kind of situation. Yes. Then... The subsequently, you'll be buying at whatever cost. Yes, there is. because I'm looking at um, the scenario and whatever is happening right now the um, hike in prices and the fuel queues. If the president does not come out to give a press release, what we've just seen um, today, yes, between yesterday evening and this morning, mm -hmm. what we've just seen is a tip of the iceberg I'm to what you. is going to happen. I agree. Um, it's it's so, going to be really intense, yes. and, and we don't deserve this. Let's not also forget that we're just coming out of a Fuel, uh, petroleum, uh, fuel scarcity, and cash sometimes crunch. and cash crunch. In he January, also talked about um, between the January IRA and the uh, end of February or so, ah. just before the election. So there's so much Nigerians are going to. Hence the plenty Japan move. Plus day two, I've got to say, uh, the UK has already said, oh, the, even the Japan, you will not be so free to come. You will not be so free. <laughs> Dependents will no good. longer have that um, come 2024. So a lot is happening. <laughs> so we call, we hope that, you know, uh, yeah. state governments and of course the federal government should please wade into this matter and try to ease uh, the serious tension on the streets yes. of Nigeria. Yes. All right, let's move on to our next paper for the day. And that will be Daily Trust Newspaper. Yes. Let's see what the headlines there look like. The headlines from the top here says, Fuel subsidy is gone. Tinubu <laughs> pledges Naira redesign review, higher growth rate. Once interest rate reduced, I'll work with you, Biden assures president. You find all of that story on page 5 and page 62 of the Daily Trust newspaper. Other headlines here, inauguration in states. Tambawa Oshon's inaugurations as APC's Aliu takes over Sokoto. <laughs> Alia freezes Benue accounts. I will sustain peace, resettle more IDPs. Zulu, that Zulu of Borono State will improve lives of banditry victims, fight ghost workers. Castina Governor speaking. Gombe Governor pledges to clear backlog of gratuity. 
Plateau has a debt burden of 200 billion naira, Governor Mufrank speaking there. It's always an empty treasury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the case for some states, right? Yes, yes. We also saw that in Kano, yes. uh, and where the governor is complaining that, uh, you know, he was left with a huge debt yes. and all of that. So, yeah, some, some states are not in a good shape right now as, as, as the governors are leaving office and new administration taking over. All right, let's continue with the headline for Daily Trust. We also see right under those headlines we were taking earlier. It says, Abba Gida Gida issues executive order to probe Ganduji. That's the Kano State uh, governor that I was yes, talking about. Yes, we also see here, Cross River governor reads riot act to criminals. Wow. <laughs> they are ready. <laughs> Kafers pledges empowerment security in Taraba. Makinde unveils socioeconomic development agency. Call me Malam, not His Excellency, New wow. Jigawa Governor speaking. <laughs> and uh, lastly, I'll take this word. I left $577.32 million, $664.5 dollars, billion Naira uh, debts, El Rafai. All of these stories, you'll find details on page 14, 15, and 59 of the Daily Trust newspaper. So, <laughs> Jenny, interesting headlines there. Yes, and, so. and this is pointing to uh, some of the activities that has happened within the last 24 hours, yes, so. just after the inauguration of different state governors around Nigeria. Let's not forget that our own state, River State here, where we are reaching you from, we also had a brand new governor in person of SAS, Simina yes. Lai Fubara. Well, he may not have made the headlines because nothing controversial happened. He actually got, uh, you know, um, uh, a handover ceremony from his godfather, political godfather, in person of uh, outgoing governor, barrister, yes, of Wiki, to him, SAS, Simina Lai Fubara, and his deputy, uh, Professor Ngozi Odu. We wish them well. We reside here in River State, and of course, if the state has fallen in the hand of a good man, that means we're all going to benefit yes, from that. But then, let's go over some of these happenings within uh, the last 24 hours for almost uh, uh, here, Daily Trust captured about, about 10 five, states. Ten states yeah. yeah. So let's go over some of these things that has happened within the last 24 hours. What's your take generally on that? <laughs> I just want to start with um, the already existing um, nature of things. I don't know if I want to say it has come to stay. Mm. The empty treasury. Yeah. Uh, what is it that every of the governors will always want to um, say that their um, predecessors has left an empty treasury? Can mm. we get a good news? Can can one of them come out and say, oh, congratulations to me. My mm. predecessor have just left me with oh, a wholesome and, a, a and an point. awesome <laughs> starting point. And that's very, it's a very sad one anyways. And um, I'm talking about um, the Plateau State um, former Governor, governor. That, yeah. that's... Um, 200 billion naira yes, of that's, debt, that, that Governor is, Mufran. Yes, that mm. means um, um, Lalong must have left this um, debt. This is um, too much. There's also that of Erufai. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> he, where we are seeing, I, he said, I left $577.32 million, yes. $64.54 billion naira debt. Yes. Ah, so you. why am I um, hammering on the debt especially? Is a congressman on their side for becoming the governors of their state, the inauguration mm. was successful, at least to an extent there were no death, especially when um, some special some special occasions are being carried out in Nigeria, we always the next day we begin to see um, um, death tolls, we are killed, accidents, and but to the glory of God, nothing of such um, occurred. So yeah. that's why I want to um, talk seriously about the death. Mm. It's always about that. And in this case, um, the governance doesn't seem to move very straight. Mm. It doesn't seem to start um, with a sweet um, pace. This is because they will actually begin to balance, start balance, and they'll continue the borrowing. Mm -hmm. They will continue the borrowing to maintain the affairs of um, the state where they found themselves. Imagine trying to clear the debts and pay um, gratuities, um, pensioners, and even some workers in the state. Where are you expecting them to get this money from since <laughs> um, they are, they've been left with an empty treasury? treasury yeah. So uh, this, um, our country actually have to work Work on that. If 
at the federal level, you can give the, the ones that are already here now, you can give them that um, automatum that you don't need to leave to me, to me, Jennifer. You, they've taken an oath, mm -hmm. for Christ's sake. Must you spend the whole money on borrowing? And to some of these persons that have left um, government, we still have so many uncompleted projects true. in their state. True. Some they didn't even do a thing. Yeah, very true. Yeah, some they didn't do a thing just because um, so many states didn't come into um, the um, the headline doesn't mean that those states have been le left with um, a rich sum of our yeah. um, uh, money in their in, in their treasury. Yeah. Let me use up their states for for, for example. <laughs> yes, I, do, okay. do you think a state like Abia State right now, the um, Governor Alex Oti will come out and say, congratulations to me, I'll, I have what to start to work <laughs> yeah. So, at the time, you're equipping a person. You, you're leaving him. You're, you're, you're pushing a person to go into the field. So you need to equip this person yeah. with whatever it takes for him to move. Yeah. You don't need to leave him to start borrowing. That, that will be the excuse they will use for the next four years. And before you know it, they will want to come mm -hmm. back um, um, later in the next four years, making it eight years. Yeah. And that could be the time they will start also making away with the, the little money that have come into the state. Mm. And they won't be able to carry out the, the, the main function, the, the main thing that they've come in to give the society True. protection of lives and every other thing that is uh, involved. Yes. In that case, yeah. um, we're encouraging this, uh, in the governors that are, fun that are already on seat right now to try to curb whatever money that comes around them to try to use it effectively very that, that's a, um the very much i can say yeah. on this thank you you said quite a lot thank you very much all right a lot a lot has really uh been said about you know these governors so much drama within the last one of note for me is that of the kano state uh you know uh new governor that is already screaming out so much we saw in one of the videos where after him being sworn in wanted to give a speech at the press conference and he refused to sit on the chair yes. of uh, the former governor, he removed it and preferred to sit on, a, on an ordinary chair. And that means a lot. That will tell you that he's not getting in that, into that office with his face smiling, probably because of the uh, issues that he has come on board to meet, especially now that he's, he has already issued an executive order to probe Governor Gandhi J. Let's not also forget that right before this time, uh, the EFCC has raised an alarm about looting going on yes. for governors that are about to leave office. But they say they have their eyes on these governors. Within the next one week or two... We'll be hearing a we'll lot hear, of... Um, we hope that we will hear because some of these governors have gone ahead to... They've also gone ahead to cut deals with the incoming president so that they can stay safe. Case in, uh, uh, in view, I'm not, let me leave the matter. Let well, me not mention it. So that another man for, grabbed me to bring evidence. But we know, we know some of these governors that are already you know, cutting deals to protect themselves from the eye of the EFCC. From, they are protecting themselves from being chased down by the EFCC. But that's, um, let me leave that story there. There's a lot to talk about some of these new governors and the challenge. And we should also be have. talking about Governor Sanwoli of Lagos State that has come back for a second term. Yes. Congratulations to you, Governor yes, Sanwoli. And that is why I'm happy about that is that he can um, conclude the projects which he started. You know, of he he actually borrowed lots of money um just um a few days ago yeah. before the inauguration. At least we'll know what um he's doing with this um well, this particular money. I don't think it, his case is um exceptional yes, anyway. Very much so. <laughs> so new congratulations to you. You are one governor of repute and I'm sure Lagos people are happy to have you back uh, as their governor. All right, we're going to take our last paper for the day, but we're going to take a short break. Once we come back, we'll take our paper. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Hey there, are you looking to record your videos, do your voiceovers and take your professional pictures? Look no further with our state-of-the-art newsroom, photography, kitchen for our food content creators and exclusive children's studio, we certainly can deliver the best studio experience. Our carefully designed studio space can bring your diverse creative content ideas to life. We aim to consistently serve value to our customers far and wide. Come, let Tharv Media give life to your dreams. Tharv Media, a slice of infotainment. 
All right, welcome back from that very short break. We're still here on the New Super Review, and we're going to go into our last paper for today, the 30th day of May, 2023. And we'll begin with the Guardian newspaper. You see this very beautiful picture of uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu waving to the crowd at the inauguration ground yesterday. But let's go to what the headlines look like on the Guardian here. It says, scarcity trails subsidy removal as Tinubu begins house cleaning. You find that story on page six of the Guardian newspaper. We also see at the bottom here, no opposition to blame as Tinubu mounts saddle gets Biden's support. All uh, right. Samuelu kicks off second term, optimistic of a better Lagos. We also see here, Doc Bessie, I have, Doc Bessie, I have lost a friend, brother, says Atiku. Wow. El Rafai accuses Buhari of mishandling terrorism as Sani vows to secure Kaduna. Controversy over Kali Air assets. 900 million Naira debt to air contractors. Stories on page 29 of the Guardian newspaper. All right, that's all the headline we'll be taking from the Guardian. Make sure you get a copy of that paper to read up the details. But Jennifer, <laughs> this, the, the news about the death of... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Doc Bessie, Raymond Doc Bessie, that is, yes, uh, it's really a shocking and yes, sad and one sad for one. Nigerians. And Nigerians are reacting to uh, the news about his death. Yes. What, 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 how, how do you react to that? Anyways, um, I actually sympathize with the family of um, Raymond Doc Bessie, especially yeah. his son, um, Raymond um, Doc Bessie Jr. Yeah. Um, Raymond Doc Bessie um, is... Um, a business mogul. Let's yeah. let us let us start with that. And a because, politician. And a politician. <laughs> that, that, that cannot be kept aside yeah. from um, whatever he is. And we know that um whenever I hear that name, do you know what comes to my mind? African independent television. <laughs> AI. Yeah. AI. Because when I was a kid, um, that was whenever the song comes on air, whenever the signature tune comes mm. on air, I will always grab that. And that's the man mm. behind every of this uh, this um private media ait ray power and you know uh, in um, september 1st 1994 that was when we had the first private um radio transmission um of, that could go the, that outside could of the country yeah. down to usa and that's um in fact he can always be remembered because when i was in the university in the media sector in mass communication you cannot talk without mentioning um raymond the yeah. yeah. name and um capping it all is that um he has actually left um a good um, legacy. Yeah. He has actually left a good legacy, and that is why it's good um, to always bring um, entertainment, to bring things that can benefit, especially the youths. Yeah. It's, it's an all-round something. Today, everyone is on the list of everyone, Raymond, Raymond, Raymond. So let's think about it in the society you are. Mm. What will you be? remembered for mm. he's been remembered for lots of things in the party where he belonged the PDP, uh, in the pdp it. he was not just like that even at a time he had to go for um the chairman of the party but unfortunately um secondus had to uh, kick him aside but still at that he's a very great man yeah. and unfortunately he died on the inauguration day of um the new nigerian oh. president anyway who cannot um deal with that who can't say anything that itself nobody can yeah. Say, don't come. Yeah. So he's a very great man and he has left lots of legacy. Mm. We still well, want to sympathize with the family. All right. Thank you very much, Jennifer, for your in depth analysis of uh, Raymond Dekwesi. It's a very sad news. Um, when I heard the news, I was really unhappy. He's not so old. And we in the media, we are yeah. really feeling it because yes, he's um, of kind of a media person. He has left person. a very uh, big mark big indelible mark on most of us yes. yes just like you said at a very young age when uh ray power was launched and that of uh, an ait this this was like a wonder for me because it, it seemed as as though something that seemed impossible had happened at that time and ait up to today is one of the leading uh, news agencies yes. we have in the country yes. news channel and they've been doing so well and if you look at uh, his political impact has been very resounding yes. 
and to lose him at this very time where we're starting a new Nigeria is really sad because I believe that he would have been able to contribute something great in the new government, but unfortunately, he didn't have the chance to do that. We really sympathize with his family, and of course, we hope that he rests in peace. All right, that's all we'll be taking today on the New Super Review. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of the program. Don't forget, we're back here again tomorrow for another episode. Do well to join us. And of course, stay connected to us on all our social media handles. We love you to always get notified whenever we come up with new episodes of our programs here on Tap TV. Until next time, I see you again. You stay well and stay tuned.